Well, if you were on my channel Friday at one o'clock, you will know that I'm a little, I'm a little not okay right now because I pay Verizon Wireless a couple hundred bucks a month to include unlimited data. Um, I just upgraded my accounts for unlimited data so that I could stream from my phone without worrying about data. And it's some, they've done something where they've cranked me down on it being able to go through. Anyway, couldn't stream my live sale from the old house. My goal was to just pull the rest of the stuff off of my shelves that still needed to be packed and moved and just sell it here because I still have my shipping station set up here. I still got all my boxes and stuff here, so I can just ship it from here still. But um, technology gods are not working in my favor. I'm gonna leave uh, Rosie the Riveter right there in the corner because I need her strength right now. Uh, so I think what I'm gonna do is show you guys the things that I was gonna sell and we'll, we'll kind of do the throw me a best offer thing again. I don't know what else to do and I will go home to my new house and get this uploaded as quickly as possible. So if you're seeing this, I got that done. Um, so let me just show you the things that I would like to sell this week and you can make me an offer through my email at the niche lady at gmail.com. Um, be sure to include a zip code if you've never purchased from me before. I will need that. Okay, this is all gonna be through email. I'm not gonna try to do it in the comments of the video this time. I'm, I, will, I will get the email organized. So it's very important that you put in the title the item that you're interested in. Let's try it this way. I don't know. Let's, let's just do it. Okay, the first item, and, and this is how this will work. Just send, send your best offer and I will let you know if your best offer was the highest best offer. You're going to send that to the niche lady at gmail.com. I have this. It's, it's Puritan. It is a pitcher. It is mid-century. It's pretty cool. It is pottery. Uh, they were very similar to the Watts company in their style and shapes and things. It is not marked. You just kind of need to know by the shape and the design. But this is the first item. And these are things that I am I'm removing from my eBay inventory because these just happen to be the things that didn't get packed up yet. So I'm going to, my store is on time away. So if these items sell, then I will just remove them from my store before I make it live again. So again, um, it's going to go for whatever best offer so that I don't have to pack and take it over to the new house. I'm just going to ship it right from here where I still have my shipping, all my shipping supplies, my shipping center set up. So work. sometimes you just got to do what you got to do, right? All right. So this will be lot number one and I may lose track of which lot we're on. So it's the Puritan picture. Be sure you put that into the title. If this is an item you're interested in, into the subject, when you send the email, the subject of the email, Puritan picture. All right, and then we're gonna have to find room to put all this stuff, but that's the first item. The second item is this beautiful wood painted or painted wood box. And uh, this one is um, lined with like a little fabric velvety lining. Let's see all side, I love how it's painted on the front here too. Let me latch it, show you the front, it has the flowers going down. So this is lot number two, and this is the painted wood box. Just send your best offer to the niche lady at gmail.com. Next, I have this really pretty bowl that I've never been able to figure out who done it. It is a signed bowl. It is these pretty sunflowers. Did I say daisies? I don't know. They're sunflowers. It is pottery. It is glazed on the inside, so it could be used. It doesn't say it's not safe for food. It does have an artist's signature. You can see the coiling. Still have my ugly finger going on there. 
Um, you can see, there you go, the artist signature. Not sure who it is. It's a very heavy quality um, piece of pottery. And so this one is lot number three. And just send your best offer to the niche lady at gmail.com and put sunflower bowl as the uh, subject for the um, email. It's got a little schmooze, got a little sticky schmooze on there. I was just trying to rub off. No chips or cracks. All right, gotta watch my battery on this phone too. How about a piece of really nice Talavera? This is a Talavera bowl. La Corona something from Mexico. So it's the La Corona family and it does say Talavera right on it. Somebody had it already set for hanging on the wall. They had glued a wire so they could hang it on the wall uh, just to be noted. But there it's a fairly large bowl. It's I had a ruler over here. It's um, nine and a half inch diameter. So it's a nine and a half inch diameter bowl. Talavera La Corona is the mark on the back. This is item number four, lot number four. Put Talavera bowl in the subject line of the email where you send your offer to the niche lady at gmail.com. This just might work. This just might work. Next, uh, well, number five, we have a, ooh, I had $130 on this when I had this in my shop. There it is. I had $130 on it. It is a Royal Copenhagen, Denmark vase, pretty good sized. Um, Royal Copenhagen, and it says 2541224, if that means anything to anyone and it is double-sided there it's got some little felt pads on the bottom but those would come right off if you wanted to take them off it's an older piece it's in really good condition what did i say this is item number lot number five this is lot number five and in the subject line put royal copenhagen Royal Copenhagen vase. Yes, let's go with that. Royal Copenhagen vase, lot number five. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, five. All right, next I have a blue sky clay work with its original tag. This is uh, a year 2000 wall hanging called Welcome Friends. I'm sorry, that's weird. Okay, it says 2002 on the piece itself and 2000 on the tag. That's why I said two different things because the tag says 2000. The actual piece says 2002. Either way, it's vintage or very, very close to being vintage um, because next year will be a couple of months. It'll be 20 years old. All right, so it is Welcome Friends Noah's Ark wall hanging. You can see there, there's the back. Still has its original tag. Got your little doves on the top. There's Noah. Says welcome friends. There's got some giraffes sneaking out. Oh, and I just had an air conditioner pop on. I hope that's not too loud. Oh, but this is this is lot number six. Lot number six. Noah's Ark. Blue sky will be their subject line. Noah's Ark Blue Sky will be the subject line at the niche lady at gmail.com is where you send your offer. Okay, now I'm going to have to uh, figure out space a little better here, but we'll make it work. I have also some things that were purchased in previous sales and never paid for. Um, so I've popped a few of those things in here, like the Mosaic Bunny by Nancy Lopez 1980 is the date on there so we've got the Nancy Lopez 1980 mosaic bunny planter and there you go I'm losing track of my numbers I think this is number seven 
It is lot number seven is the Nancy Lopez Mosaic Bunny. Or Mosaic Bunny, if you want to shorten it. Mosaic Bunny, because I only have one Mosaic Bunny in the sale. Mosaic Bunny would be your subject line to send your best offer to the niche lady at gmail.com. Okay, that was seven, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now we're going on to number eight. How about an elephant planter? This is a three-sided green elephant planter. It's got kind of a bright, almost a majolica kind of finish going on there. It is not signed. He is, let's see, how do I measure him? He's about, he's six inches from elephant to elephant and he's three inches tall. So six inches like from here to here and three inches tall. And the opening is about three and a half inches close to diameter. I mean, he's wavy. Anyway, this is lot number eight. <laughs> I wish I had a better way of keeping track of this. It would help if I had somebody to help me here. Should have brought Rachel. Lot number eight is the elephant planter in your subject line. So elephant planter is what you put in the subject line of the email and uh, send your best offer for him. Okay, how about a steampunk cat wine holder? Look at this guy, he's perfect for Halloween. Check him out. He is made by Bella Home Decor, B-E-L-L-A-A, -L -L -A -A. is the little sticker on the back. I think I had him listed for $29.99. So just as a little point of reference, um, he will hold a single wine bottle, lays on his back, it's kind of cool. He's lot number nine, right? So if I get off track with my counting, it's gonna be bad. Lot number nine, Steampunk Cat. Just call him Steampunk Cat in the subject line and send your best offer to the niche lady at gmail.com if you would like him to be yours. Okay, this is another never got paid for. I have these four Royal Copenhagen pin dishes or butter pats, I guess they could be. You get, uh, this one, the uh, the Little Mermaid statue. You get this nice clipper ship right there. You get, uh, this is Amager Torv Kobenhain is what it says on the back. Each one has like the name of the thing. And this says Borson, Borson. So you're getting all four for your offer. So send your offer to the niche lady at gmail.com. I believe this was lot number 10. These are the Royal Copenhagen pin dishes or butter pats. I don't know, use either one. It's all good, it's all good with me. I'll figure out which, which item it is. All right, next I have a small Blue Mountain Pottery Elephant. He's just a he's just a wee little guy, but he is Blue Mountain Pottery. Um, he is not signed, but he's the classic Blue Mountain glaze with the green and the red wear. He measures three inches long by two inches tall by one and three quarter inches wide. So he is, I believe, number 11, lot number 11. And you can send your best offer to the niche lady at gmail.com. You love elephants? I have another one. This is a really cool carved wood elephant with a baby. Now this one has its tusks, which is really unusual for uh, these. 
I don't know if it's the original tusks because a lot of times these came with um, a material that is not allowed. <laughs> Uh, so I do think maybe these were replaced, um, but there are tusks, which is really cool. And I believe the eyes are painted, whereas the eyes probably would have also had that material. But there is none of that on this elephant. Um, it does say it was Wayne's in 1979. So there you go. Belonged to Wayne in 1979. It measures six and a half inches tall by six inches long by two and a quarter inches at its widest. So there you go. That's number 12, I believe, if I'm counting right. Number 12, let me just see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh no, is this number 11? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, it's number 12. It's number 12. I was right. Number 12 is the wood elephant. Number 12 is the wood elephant. Send your best offer to the niche lady at gmail.com. And by the way, I'm going to allow offers to come in through the weekend. I will cut it off Sunday night. I will cut it off Sunday night. So be sure you send your best offer. And I'm not gonna be able to answer a lot of emails on like, did somebody else offer higher? Do I need to up my offer? Send your best offer. Just as if you were bidding and somebody's bidding against you. It's the best way I can do this, guys. I mean, who knows? If your offer is like five bucks, that may be the best offer. I'm gonna honor that. All right, this is an Imperial Bonn Germany plate. I think this has, yeah, this has one little ding on the edge, but it's a very, very expensive majolica plate with these, it's green with the pink flowers. There is the mark. I think we're on number 13. So number 13, send your best offer for the Imperial Bonn Germany plate. Imperial Bonn Germany plate, number 13. I have another little plate here that is um, also Germany. I had a price tag on that. Also, I have 30 bucks on this. It's a KPM um, porcelain trivet. So it is a little stand, a trivet stand, and it is um, tea party. They're having a little tea party there, hand painted. There is your mark on the back. It measures seven inches in diameter. Send your best offer to the niche lady at gmail.com with KPM Trivet. KPM Trivet. What number are we on now? I don't I don't know. I gotta count again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, fourteen. Okay, we're gonna be on number fifteen now. Number fifteen is a Tom Kitten. Uh, by Royal Albert, Bone China, England, 1986 plate. So this one is going to be um, the Beatrix Potter Tom Kitten plate. It's a Beatrix Potter Tom Kitten plate. It measures, it measures eight inch diameter. And he is so cute. Look at his face. Look at that kitty's face. Um, you can send your best offer to the niche lady at gmail.com. Oh, and did I say Beatrix Potter Tom Kitten? Yeah, I said that. And I'm, I'm forgetting numbers now. This is not going to be good for my brain. One, two, three, four. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. See, I, fifteen, right? One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, forty. Okay, number sixteen. Number sixteen is a pair of Royal Wooster uh, cruets, and Wooster is spelled like 
W-O-R-C-E-S-T-E-R. -E Nothing like it sounds. So if you spell it great, I'll know. If you just want to put W-O-O-S-T-E-R like it sounds and be a hooked on phonics kid like me, I'm good with that too. But it's the Royal Wooster Cruet set. There is their mark. Oop, I got one upside down. Sorry. They have their little wood stoppers, which is really nice. They've got um, olives and this would be great for oil and vinegar. Very classy. Got the olives on the tree and off. And what did I say? This is number 16. Send your offer to the niche lady at gmail.com. All right, next I have a, and I always, I get corrected on how I say this, but again, uh, it looks like Wachter Spock to me. There it is. I always say it's the name you have to have a little phlegm for. This one is made in West Germany. Some are made in Spain. They're made in different places, but this is an oldie with a seal, a little black seal on it, on two sides of it. It does have that little tiny ding, right? Like little teeny tiny glaze chip right there and another little one right there. See it on the bottom? So keep that in mind as you send your best offer for number 17, the seal mug. Just say the seal mug. It's all good. I'll know what you mean. It is a Wachter Spock. And uh, what did I say? It's number 17. I hope that number's right. All right. Send your best offer. Next, I have a set of vintage. Uh, I believe these are SeaWorld, but let me double check. They are metal coasters. I'm not sure they've ever been out of the package. Hold on, stand by. Taking them out now, show you. We've got the killer whale. We've got the aquarium. We've got the elephant seal. These are in pristine collect uh, condition. Oh, the pearl diver. These are so totally SeaWorld. Remember when they had the pearl divers? I remember, I still have my pearls from that. We've got the penguins. We've got the seal. You know, I think I'm going to, I'm going to do about 20 items and uh, upload this and see how it goes. And if it goes well, I'll put up another video with some more. How's that? I think that's what I'll do. Oh, now I'm getting them back into this container just the way they were. Hang, hang, hang on. Stand by. There's one, two, three. There's six of them. They're all six. They're all there. They're in their original container. I think this was number 18. You can send your best offer to the niche lady at gmail.com. All right. How about an iridescent star fish bowl? Yes. Well, I'm told they're now called sea stars. I call them a starfish. That's what I've always known them as. That's what I'm going to call them as. This is glass and it has that rainbowy iridescence. Would make a great like candle holder or even a little candy dish. And I believe it's, we're on number 18. So send your best offer for the glass starfish to the niche lady at gmail.com. Next, I have this really beautiful, gosh, I wish I had my eBay listing that would tell me exactly who done it. I um, believe this is made in Portugal. There is the mark. I do believe it's Portugal. Correct me if I'm wrong. It's just a beautiful cobalt blue. Uh, it's like a flow blue. I don't know if you can see that. It's flow blue on the blue and along the bottom. Really, really, really pretty little pottery uh, planter, vase, pot, whatever you want to call it. We will call it the Portugal pot or Portugal pottery. Um, it is number 19. Send your best offer and uh, we'll see who gets it. All right, I'm going to do a doozy for the last one. This is the real test of if I can make this method work. If this goes well, I'll break out some more cool glass. But I've got a piece of stretch glass. I don't have my black light out here. Wait, yes I do, hold on. Stand by, 
Stand by, because I just have my purse out here too. Let's see. Ha ha ha, ha ha ha. Oh yes, this is, have you ever seen glowing, glowing, let's see if I, it's really hard to show you, glowing stretch glass. So it's Vaseline stretch glass. I, you know, recording on a mirrored image thing is so hard, but you can see the glow. You can see the glow coming through this little baby there. All right, I'm gonna take a best offer. This is the grand finale of this video section. I'm gonna break this up into just 20 lot videos. So if I see this is working, I'm gonna upload another video. If I see this is not working, this is gonna be it. <laughs> but it is, we'll call this the stretch glass as your um, subject line in the email you send to the niche lady at gmail.com. Send me your best offer and this could be yours. All right, I'm gonna wrap it up with those 20 items. Let's see how it goes. I promise as soon as I can get technology to work for me, I will be live again. This is not the way I planned to do this. Um, but honestly, I, you know, you guys know, I, the, I, this is how I make my living. And it's how I support the Niche Foundation. So a portion of the proceeds from this do go to the Niche Foundation. And I will continue to do that no matter how much the technology fails me. Whoa, that was loud. Uh, so thank you for your support. Thank you for your understanding. Um, I have to go do something now to do a little self care because I just feel like crying right now because this is not how I intended to do this. But as Rosie would say, let's just, let's just figure it out. Let's get her done. I don't think Rosie said that, but let's get her done. All right. Thank you so much, everybody. Love you. Now you go be profitable and make it fun.